Hey guys, okay, so I decided to do one of those water body composition tests to get a good baseline for working out and for getting healthier. So we're headed there now. I've got a GoPro in a waterproof case. I'm hoping that they let me do, they re let me record it so that way we can add it to the uh, vlog, but that's where we're headed to right now. And then we'll check your height out over here. Okay. Uh, back, back against the, back. yeah. Okay. Feet together, stand up straight. How tall do you think you're? Six one in a little bit. So that would be 73 inches and change. You stand up straight? Mm hmm. Come step out. That would be, I'll give you 73 on the button. No change. <laughs> oh! Well, that's pretty close. Go ahead and step in the tank. Did I mention my name is Brian? Hi, Brian. I'm Joe. I have a good memory, but it's really short. I, I, I can identify with that. Face the ducks. Okay. Sit down in the water with your legs straight out in front of you. Did you happen to uh, see the video? I haven't yet. I didn't. That'd I, have been helpful. It would. It, uh, well, I kind of. <laughs> I, I saw a big tank one where they were holding themselves underneath. Yeah, this is not like that. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Check your shorts for air bubbles. Okay. Good. And then put that black weight belt across your lap. Okay. Put the toes under the railing there. Okay. Toes under the railing. Okay. Here's the drill. Okay. Hold your nose the whole time. Okay. Blow out of your mouth as you're laying on the bottom of the tank. Okay. Blow fast. Okay. Squeeze hard. Okay. Because air you don't get out shows up as fast. On the report. Okay. Hey, well, we just now. Start blowing right away. Okay. Continue as you go underwater again. Okay. Hold your nose the whole time. When you're done, no air left, just come up. Okay. We'll do it till we get two consistent results. Okay. We want as little turbulence in the water as possible, so try to lay, lay, lower yourself slowly. I am ready whenever you are. Okay, here you are. Just like we drew it up in the playbook. Is that okay? That was okay. Right. So that clanging that you heard is something we want to try to avoid. Does that yeah, me so slow back try to lower yourself a little bit slower. Okay. Now just so that we're on the same page, when you get to the end, it's kind of like getting that last cow on the birthday cake. You know, you're practically spitting on your cake. Okay. I don't want to see veins popping out of your Okay. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're at. This is a new experience for me. Well, that's good because that was a lot better than the first one. Is that better? Okay. And you were actually still blowing when you came up. That was at the very last. Could you tell? Well, yeah, I'm looking at you. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like, oh crap. What you think I'm asleep at the wheel over here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't ask me to do much. <laughs> pay attention is kind of one of them. Okay. Well, that's. I appreciate kind that. Kind of important. <laughs> Thank you. In case you start turning blue. Like, he's not coming back up. That's yeah, a problem. His brother's not saying a word. Maybe this is normal. <laughs> He just stays down at the bottom. Really? All right, so put it all together. Blow okay. fast, squeeze hard. Remember, lower yourself slowly whenever you're ready. Okay. All righty, that was the same. That was the same? So you are done. Yes. So Skills. <laughs> All right, what's a good non-work email address to send our newsletter to? Um, Jonah, J-O-N-A-H, dot Nelson, at hotmail.com. Wow, how'd you get that? I was very early in the, in the, the, the procedure. And did you have any specific goals you were working for us? Well, this is kind of, I've gotten super out of shape over the past, like, two years. It's been really bad. And so this is to undo the damage that I've done. Okay. So... I, I've ne actually never taken one of these before, but I thought this would be a good baseline to yeah, kind of work off of. Definitely. I kind of wanted to go towards a healthy body fat. 
Okay, so let's run over the equation really quick for how they do this calculation. You have dB, which equals the density of your body. You have ma, which is your mass in air. This would be on a scale, like what you see me doing at the beginning. mw, which is the mass in water. You can see in the recording that there's this inner kind of floating platform. That's actually what they're using to measure my weight, which can be positive or negative, depending on if I'm positively or negatively buoyant after I blow out all my air. Thus, this is underwater. You have DW, which is the density of your water. This will depend on your temperature, which in our case was 93 degrees Fahrenheit. You also have RV, which in this case is the residual volume of air inside your lungs and air passage, so your esophagus. The equation is pretty simple. What you're looking at is dB, the density of the body, is equal to the mass in air divided by the quantity of the mass in air minus the mass in the water divided by the density of your water minus your residual volume. The mass in air, I was 310.6 pounds. My mass in water was 1.76. Density of the water, we'll come back to, but my residual volume, I used an equation off of Wikipedia and I got 1.771. Now, from my sheet, I see that their calculation for the residual volume is 2.018. Now, both of these are in liters, these are in pounds, and I have a value for the density of water, but what we're gonna do is do some unit analysis first. So, if we go 310.6 pounds divided by 300. 10.6 pounds minus 1.76 pounds divided by the density of water minus the residual volume, which is two. The value that I have for the density of the water, let's just round it to 62.1 pounds per cubic foot. Now for our density, we're gonna want pounds per cubic feet. And so we know 0 0.035 cubic feet per one liter. Once we do some math here, we get 63.4 pounds per cubic foot. Now, I know that my handwriting got a little bit bad there at the end. What that allows us to do is then use the equations created by these other two dudes, Siri and Brozek, to create percentages of fats. What we'll do is we'll go from there, 63.4. So for Siri, what we have is that your fat percentage is equal to 4.95 divided by your density, which in our case is dB, minus 4.5, and all of that times 100. Now, for Brozek, same deal, is equal to 4.570 divided by density, minus 4.142 times 100. Now these densities for these equations are expected to be in grams per cubic centimeter. Let's do that math. That's a four, bad handwriting. Then using this, what we get is, what you see is 36.9 and 36.3. Now, the awesome part is if you look at their calculation, it's right in between those two. So we're looking good. The health right. stuff. Okay. You good? Yeah? Okay. I don't know, we started with crap. That's <laughs> never, <laughs> it's never, it's never how we want to start here. All right, body fat percentage. Yeah. Okay. Weight of your body fat, lean mass. Now here's the glass half full right there. That's why I asked about the lifting. That is a very good number. Oh, Typically, really? for somebody your height, I'm going to see that number down around eh, 170, 165. Oh, really? We keep your history. So you can okay, nice. Demographically, that's the number closest to you on the chart. Anything above that double lined area is what I characterize as the healthy range. The middle for your age group is right around 9%. Okay. Anything under about 13, 13 and a half will get you into that healthy range. And I'm not telling you that those have to be your goals. I'm just showing you how to use the Thank report. You. I appreciate that. In the meantime, though, let's look at a short-term goal. Okay. Whether we're fat percentage or target weight, what it takes you to get there, these numbers assume you're dropping fat only. Okay. So let's just, if we're looking at a pound a week, 500 calorie deficit per day, okay. 12 pounds, 12 weeks, that gets you under three bills between now and Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Now, understand that we recommend one pound per week because slow and steady ultimately wins, wins the race. race. The behavior modification is sm small, so the sustainability is high. Reach your goal, a lot easier to maintain your weight. Sure. And number two, the propensity for losing muscle is much lower the slower you go. Okay. It's hard to put it on, but very easy to lose it. <laughs> yeah. Now, having said that, I would have this same goal for a 100-pound woman. Oh, really? 
So you could probably ramp this up a little bit if you wanted to, yeah. but I wouldn't go past two pounds a week. Okay. So that means your deficit would be a thousand calories a day. Okay. And my guess is that, you know, at 300 pounds and almost 200 pounds of lean, you probably have been consuming around three to four thousand calories a day. That's probably so true. So a thousand calorie reduction in that won't be that huge That's a deal. Sort of if you were getting two thousand calories a day and cut it down to one thousand, then yeah, that'd be a problem. Uh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Resting metabolic rate, okay. just about 24, 30 a day calories you burn doing nothing. Now here's the disclaimer. It assumes middle of the road thyroid, which you may or may not be. If you are, that number should be pretty accurate, but only accounts for about 70% okay. of your total daily expenditure. So this is where I came up with that three to 4,000 gotcha. calorie number. I mean, your 70% your is gonna be right around 3,000. Mm -hmm. And that's your break even point. It doesn't count any of your uh, workouts. Okay. Finally, caloric burn during 30 minutes. So, a pretty typical gym workout lift for 30, cardio for 30. For you, that's going to be right around 850 per hour. And you have everything else up here. Nice. As well. That is an awesome report. Questions? Thank you. No, that's, that's awesome. News you can use right there. Thanks for watching, guys. It's the beginning of the journey. As you can see, I've got some work to do. Definitely <laughs> not exactly where I want to be, but. It is what it is. So, hope you guys like the video and continue to watch for updates as we go along. Thanks again.